Okay, I'm back again with a quick unboxing and demo. This is actually the solar panel I ordered off of eBay that I posted a video about. Uh, I believe the video was entitled 10 watt panels for $29.99 shipped. And uh, it was from La Vie Solar Incorporated. And you can see that's exactly where it's from. And it was sent out on the 8th. Today is the 10th. So it got here pretty quick. Uh, you can see it came from Sugarland, Texas, and it had to come all the way to Detroit. So, um, you know, did a pretty good job sending it here. They've, they've always sent me uh, my panels within, you know, like three days because uh, I guess they use air service or whatever. Uh, but that's pretty quick considering I ordered from another uh, solar supplier in Texas, and that took, I think it took about six business days for them to ship it. So uh, if you want your stuff quick and you want it cheap, uh, check out La Vie Solar on eBay. I definitely recommend them. They do pretty good work. So uh, let's dig into this box. Uh, just showing you how everything looks when you first get it. And there we have it. Let me grab it right quick before it falls. Nothing else was in the box except for the foam and uh, a little bit of dirt on here. Uh, nothing serious. Like I mentioned in that video, this panel does not come with pre-wired junction box, but that's never a problem for me. Um, already went ahead and got some wiring. All you have to do is fish your wiring up through this little hole. Um, tie a knot in it. Latch it down right here. And of course, connect it to positive and negative, and they are labeled positives on the right, negatives on the left. Uh, this is a 10 watt polycrystalline solar panel, 22 volts open circuit. Uh, short circuit current is 0 0.061 amps. Okay, so skipping ahead here a bit, this is actually the next day, September 11th. Uh, but you can see I got the panel mounted yesterday, went ahead and did that. It only took me about 15 minutes and um, you can see I put a little uh, support back there so that all the panels can stand at the same angle uh, because they don't have blocking dials and I don't want them fighting against each other but uh, now the total wattage is up to 22 watts it was 12 watts before uh, via the 3 watt panel, the 4 watt panel and the 5 watt panel and then you can see the uh, largest panel is the 10 watt next to the 5 watt so that's a total of 22 watts. I'm expecting somewhere around 1.3 to 1.4 amps out of it. Um, I don't really know until I measure the short circuit current, but can't really do that for the next three or four days because it will be raining, much like it has been doing all day. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's going to give me over an amp, so I'm going to have to uh, change my current charging setup, which was just running... Uh, 12 watts directly into the battery, uh, which was kind of dangerous. I would have to discharge the battery down to about 11.9 volts for it to not overcharge on a good day. Uh, but definitely with the extra 10 watts, it will probably overcharge. So I went ahead uh, and yesterday ordered a 10 amp charge controller. It's a very good price, only 12 bucks shipped. So um, I'll probably have that next week and I'll do an unboxing and review on that. Uh, because it's one of those little Chinese ones that are pretty cheap that people want to buy but they don't really know about. Uh, so hopefully I'll help some guys out with that. If you uh, are thinking about buying a charge controller, I'll do a little review on it. So uh, that's pretty much it. Can't really do anything else with solar uh, now that it's going to be raining. So what I'm going to have the next couple of days is probably some review videos that I probably should have posted a while ago. Uh, definitely my Eden FR250 radio review my energizer flashlight review and then maybe a couple other things so see you guys later peace